Hello, it's a beautiful day today in Berkeley, California. How you guys doing? Uh, once again, all my videos are Creative Commons. You're free to download and upload them however you see fit. Just share the truth. Uh, I heard there's a, an Antifa rally or a uh, anti-fascism uh, rally or something like that. I, I heard news, I saw some cops headed up here, some Berkeley PD were headed up here, so I decided to come see what's going on. Uh, I got my Pete's coffee. It's not in a, it's not in a Pete's cup. No product placement there, but uh, Gaia, Gaia Organic from Pete's, uh, my favorite coffee, and it's almost the only coffee I drink. Uh, we're here in Sprawl Plaza. Um, I'm walking up on the center of the plaza now. It looks like uh, I see the one guy from Refuse Fascism who was in the last uh, last weeks of events. He's holding up his sign. I don't I don't see much, but a bunch of people uh, just watching, seeing what's going on. Uh, I don't see any of the right wingers. Uh, I I heard yesterday there's a anti-fascism rally here. Uh, so I came to see what's going on. We got a... Okay, so there is... There is, there is one, one uh, you might identify as a conservative. He's uh, standing to the very, uh, the very right of them. Kind of using their own tactics against them of just shouting. Uh, we got some police. Uh, they're back in the shade, uh, enjoying the show. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying it too. Once again, this is a non-medic on YouTube. Uh, Twitter's the same handle. All my apps, all my videos are Creative Commons and open sourced. Feel free to use them however you want. Oh, there's one, one gentleman I met yesterday. Uh, he's, he's out here today with his selfie stick. He uh, was actually the first one to tell me that the uh, Proud Boys don't hold any racist ideologies. Uh, see the video I up uploaded last night about yesterday. Uh, I, I met a, an Asian proud boy who who claimed there's nothing racist uh, about being okay with your heritage. Uh, it's not an anti his heritage, but but a pro my heritage. Uh, apparently, that's that's the ideology I, I get from the Proud Boys. Uh, I'm not a member. I, I never even spoken to one until yesterday. Let's listen to what let's listen to what's happening up here on the uh, the steps of Sprawl Plaza. This, this man does does have a fact. Uh, communists are right now banned from working in the, the California government. Uh, someone who is an active member of a communist party. Uh, which, is, which is why they're trying to... Uh, I, I came from an anarchist viewpoint, sort of, uh, until I realized it won't work. Uh, but, but as when I walked, you know, I walked side by side with these people against uh, police brutality, which I agree, it was a police brutality issue, but I saw them, them spin it into a race issue. And, you know, I was out there to stand for Eric Garner, the guy who got choked out in New York. You know, his last words were, I can't breathe. Well, his mother came out, uh, you know, he sold a pack of cigarettes on the street, and, you know, a cop choked him out and, and crushed his larynx. Well, what about the original well, question about Well, real, real quick, I just want to say that his mother came out publicly to say, I don't think it's about race at all. I think it's, it's about police brutality. Sure, sure. No, okay. And so what, what, what I've seen this this far side of the left do is turn it into a race war uh, when, when I don't believe that's even the, the core of the issue. Uh, what did you want to say? Well, I, I just asked you about the law. And, and uh, what do I think about it? Because um, you did bring it up. I just don't know. Like, you say it was right. Man, I'm, I'm kind of a libertarian. I'm against big, overreaching governments. I don't, I don't think we need to legislate our problems away. So I... I I don't, I don't really want to speak too much until I, you know, I'm kind of non-biased and different on that. No touching. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm against the checkpoint that was here the other day. 
Yeah. Um, because that's that's the essential fascist state they're afraid of. You know, the checkpoints everywhere, getting pulled over everywhere, the big police state is what the anti-fascists don't want. Well, neither do the people on the right. Well, I think the libertarians uh, are interested, but, sure. But it was, you can be libertarian left and libertarian right. Yeah, so. yeah. I'm, I know. I call myself a libertarian. If, if you know, if you got to put me in a box, then, you know, it's. I wonder you know, whether. So what does that mean? Because I, I know the root of the liberal is freedom. And libertarian is also. Well, I, freedom. I have an open mind where I, I, I don't believe in. You know, if you're LGBT, you know, what? I got nothing to oppose. You know, I'm a Christian, but I'm not going to oppose that against you. Are you doing Luke? We got Luke Wadowski from We Are Change. His 9/11 uh, documentary, uh, documentary is one of the first things that woke me up uh, over 10 years ago. So. I support him, what he does to the fullest. The way he's, he's never changed his stance. He's, he's always kept the same, the same viewpoints, and, and I share almost the same viewpoints as him. So. I, you're a terrorist. Yeah, you come out, you terrorist. What you are is terrorist. Okay, we, we now have some familiar faces that are all gathering around. When I walked in, I didn't, I didn't see too many people, but the, the crowd is gathering. How you doing? You got anything to say? What, what you wanted to say yesterday? How about elaborate on that? You wanted to talk about how black lives do matter. And I, I, I agree, it's a police brutality issue. It, it is, and you know, one of the things that people don't get, or the assumptions that people make is like black people want to hand out or we want something for free. And that might be true in, in small communities. I think black people as a whole just want a form of equality and they want a form of accountability when injustices do happen to us. And I, I think anybody in the world would say that. Somebody does you wrong, legitimately does you wrong, that is undeniably wrong, you want somebody held accountable. And we've been seeing that in the past couple months of a lack of accountability. So I don't, I don't think that's a lot to ask for. Uh, and I think speaking reasonably, reasonably about those issues is a step in the right direction just to keep people, get people to have the conversation. Yeah, I, I find it a little ironic that, you know, now that we're talking about the pledge and the anthem, uh, well, the Pledge of Allegiance, you know, I, I'm going to start with, I don't pledge to, to a flag. If, if you want to be nationalism, you know, be patriotic, whatever. I pledge to Jesus, so, you know, I, I base my values on that, but... The pledge Mike ironically Jack, says Mike justice, Jack, you know, Jack, liberty Mike and justice Jack, for all. <laughs> Isn't justice one of the cries of, of the Black Lives Matter movement? You know, they want justice for everyone. And that's what the pledge actually has in it, word for word. I love Berkeley, and I know geoengineering is a real thing. Look it up. Why is the white guy leading the charge? Anybody explain that? And they want blind obedience. What's the word when you're racist against your own race? I know there's a new there's a new word circling that I, I just man. Wondering a new horizon. <laughs> I'm going to switch to the other camera so you guys can get a high-def video.